been it? What the hell's happened to the factory? She's been on Coronation Street for almost a decade, but off screen, Cheryl Lee Houston has helped create a networking community for disabled artists. People with disabilities only stop being locked up. You know, I would be in a home in the 80s. Then in the 90s, we got the rights to travel. 2000, we got the right to go to university. So we're just a bit further behind than everybody else. I think the more we're on television, the more ramps will appear on the high street, the more inclusive everything will become. Imogen, could you not have just answered your phone and said, now's not a good time? 20% of the population have a disability, but it's rare to see that portrayed on screen. A little girl with an arm very, very similar to mine. I think she's only about three or four years old. And, you know, she was in the park and had... Um, her mum was asked by another parent to, to cover her daughter's arm up because it was scaring um, or upsetting the other children. And, I mean, that brought back so many memories because I remember feeling like that as a child. I still get it now at 28. I'm still having stares and points, you know, they don't go away. If those children that were scared or upset for whatever reason were able to see disability and body difference every single day, then that would have, that would have never happened. Change is happening. It was the public who voted in their thousands for best newcomer James Moore at the National Television Awards. I never thought I'd be here. You know what I mean? And for everyone that would take on someone with a disability, show the progression that we need in this day and age. Now, industry figures like the executive producer of Luther and the A Word have pledged better representation in all their shows. We want to commit to always seeing disabled actors as part of the casting for every episode. We want to encourage writers to reflect you know, the makeup of society and the characters that they create. It will take time and it will take effort. And I think commitments like this are the beginnings of that. We lowered the stage to one foot uh, to make sure the, it was the legal gradient. And, and, and this was the only change we had to make. So simple and yet so effective. Manchester's 53-2 theatre thought they were accessible until they hosted Cheryl Lee and the Disabled Artists Meeting. They are actually really small changes. But um, again, the repercussions and the effect that has on our audience, on the, the, the scope of our performers that we can get in the building and, and the, the, the accessibility of theatre um, is absolutely enormous. You see... I'm what I like to call a post-feminist, so I am all about exploiting your male gaze. But that is really difficult to do when you've got the seven fires of hell residing squarely in your baby maker. Stephanie Lacey's a comedian now on tour after being spotted performing on their newly accessible stage. It's allowed me so many opportunities to be on the stage, to have my writing performed on the stage by other wheelchair users. It's been incredible just to glide on up that ramp for the first time was amazing. I felt really, I felt like a VIP, to be honest. <laughs> it was great. Is it? Pleased to meet you. They've created a network to promote new talent. Well, uh, skills only. And they're changing attitudes too. Elaine Wilcox, ITV News, Manchester.